Mayong adlaw mga higala. Good day friends. This is Judy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you a quick setup and a review of Maximus tabletop dish washer. This is not a paid sponsorship. Just want to let you know guys. We got this machine from the website thegreatest.ph. This item we got it during the 1111 sale. So the original price was around 37k plus and we got it for 25,000 pesos. So the delivery fee was 3500 because we are located here in Cebu City. So we have to ship it from Manila to Cebu City. Total cost was 28500 During the sale, we got uh, freebies worth 2100 It includes 3 kilo salt, a box of detergent tablets. It has 30 tablets inside. One bottle of rinse aid. Now, it is very important before you do your first wash, you must read the manual first, okay? There are some steps that you need to do before you can do your first wash. Now let's set this up. Just need to attach the end of the hose to the back of the machine. You just twist it tightly so that there will be no leaking. And then the other one, the end, you will attach it to directly to the faucet. So the water will come out also from the from the from that hole so there are two lines there so the other one is for the drainage the other one is, is for the water this is the filter and this one is where you put the salt so let's follow the instruction here it says that you will put the salt one kg one kilo of salt into the salt container so the salt is to, the purpose of the salt is to reset the unit's built-in water softener. I just asked Google on this one, so I really do not know what's the purpose of the salt, but it says here it will reset the unit's built-in softener. So I'm not, I'm not sure if it's correct. So you do your own research, okay? The first water that came out was um, brownish. Uh, I think that is the purpose of doing this step maybe because you have to do some cleaning inside after putting the salt according to the manual run a quick wash so i press a program that will run for 15 minutes Okay, so this this is the ideal arrangement as per the manual. So arrangement of the dishes and uh, other things. So what I did, I have to make sure the plates should have at least a space in between the dishes. I've tried putting uh, a greasy pan, so there's a glass pan and this regular pans. It was greasy and then it came out really clean. And then the glass pan, I don't know what, what happened. There is a white powdery it's hot, it's hot. that was sticking oh. into the glass pan. But it's, it's not so big to me. Maybe because okay, yeah. when I put it in the dishwasher, it's there's not so many plates. 
and maybe that's the reason why so i'm not really sure why if you have any idea please comment in the comment section below so basically if it's full i don't get any this any of this powdery uh i don't know what do you call this remnants of the detergent okay this one is very clean we put all the dishes glasses and newton cells in a bucket filled with water so basically we soak everything here and then during night time we run the machine before putting it into the dishwasher we make sure that there are no leftovers sticking to the plates so that's the reason why we have to soak everything because it's easier to remove the leftovers overall performance of this machine it was really good what i really like about this is it also sterilized all the utensils and the plates so especially during this pandemic it is very very useful it's hot okay when you run this do not uh, use the faucet because you might accidentally turn it off and if you turn it off you will have to redo everything again you have to redo the program again so overall we are so happy we actually basically save time from washing dishes because every day in a day we wash like five times or more and this machine really helped us a lot in terms of time saving and it doesn't make um our sink too cluttered because we have just have to put it in a bucket and then transfer it there in the machine and after that everything is so clean and all so i think it is a good buy i've been wanting a dishwasher for like so long for like maybe 10 years and now we finally have this one the nice thing about this tabletop dishwasher is that it is not so big if you have a very small house like a townhouse or a condominium you just have to put this in on a tabletop and then you're good to go okay so it doesn't require any technical skills to use this one all you need to do is read the manual follow the manual it's easy to follow this one is like plug and play except that you do the first step before you do your washing okay so everything is in the manual it's easy to set up and it saves time it sterilizes um our utensils and dishes it it comes out dry except for one area there you can see in the video there's a part of it that it's not there is a part of it that it's not totally dry it's still wet but for me it doesn't really matter because you know i can just um let it dry in my drying rack so overall we are very happy about this maximus uh, tabletop dishwasher if you want to purchase this one you just go over there to the site the greatest.ph they're very um very nice they're very nice i just want to give a shout out to miss jerlene hello miss jerlene and i hope you are watching this one so that's all for today guys i hope this review will be helpful to you if you're deciding what kind of dishwasher you want to get okay and so far this tabletop dishwasher fits our budget um it fits our budget it fits our space it fits my technical requirements let me know what you think about this uh, tabletop dishwasher if you have one let me know what are your thoughts in the comment section below Daghang salamat mga higala. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Um, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.